Welcome everyone, welcome to No Man's Sky. So, on today's video, which is part of my gameplay, straight back to basic series, we are going to talk about what's in front of us. Freighters. So, how do you get a freighter? Easiest way for you to uh, get to know how to get a freighter is go into the options menu. Go into the guide under trade and standing and look at where it says freighters. So it says there to buy a freighter, board it and speak to the captain. Saving a freighter from pirates will make it cheaper. If you have a freighter, you can own up to six starships. It has an advanced warp capability and it has large inventory slots and you can actually build stuff on a freighter. That's how you get one. What does it look like inside? Well, to get in, I towards this blue bit. The autopilot will take you in. If you've only got one starship, then you'll find that others will then fly in. So, when you first get in a freighter, you have three different landing bays that can hold three different ships, as you can see here. So, we've got number three there. Number two, you can see there's three of my ships here. Sorry, they can hold four ships. No, they won't. They hold three ships can't count and my three other ships there no other ships will spawn in don't know why don't know if it's a bug whatever but because I've got it uh, full of my ships even though there's space no other ships will spawn in so this is basically the landing bay of the freighter you can go up these stairs there's two sets of stairs one on the left one on the right and you can go up these stairs and it brings you to this point here. So if you go up the left hand side it comes there, if you go on the right hand side which we just did it comes here. And you go through a couple of doors up to a central staircase. In front of you there is the bridge. You have an option to the right, you have an option to the left. So what we'll do is we'll go to the bridge to start with. So if you've just walked on a freighter what you will need to do is go and speak to the captain here and if you talk to him you'll be able to purchase the freighter I've already spoke to him this is my freighter so I don't need to talk to him you can't talk to any of these guys they're just static so we then come to this center console okay so we'll go around each one so we have here a galactic commission station uh. This is missions, so you can get some missions from here. Okay, so it's like a little missions board. Uh, to the left of that, you can see this chap here. He's our navigator. We can plan and send things out with our fleet. So when you've got a freighter, you can get a frigate. When you have frigates, you can send them out on expeditions. You talk to this guy, he will do that for you. Okay? So, yeah, speak to your navigator, he will plan and dispatch it for you. The next one is if you want to manage your fleet. You can see I've got all different frigates around me. You can manage your fleet, excuse me, via this screen. And then finally, you've got the freighter warp map. So, it's the same sort of map as a normal warp map but you're using your freighter so there's a freighter warp map so that's basically what's on the center console so there's four different bits to it um, play around with it you can see what each one does so if we then go back to the top of these stairs okay and if we go to the right You can see that there are little bits and bobs around. Ignore that, but what we're looking for is this bit here at the back. And you will see I have got storage containers here. So I can access my storage. But you'll get this room. And you can start building in this room. So it's exactly the same mechanics as building a base. So you can put base items down. Um, 
it says here freight components so you can see um, if I had the materials for it you can build different bits and bobs in here uh, you can put different terminals in and you can do a farm in here and you can decorate it as well so there's certain bits and bobs that you can do in here so like I said I've put some storage in there so I've got storage what you will also need so you can build it all out here what you'll also need is if you do get a frigate you will need a room like this which is a fleet command station so unless you've got a exhibition exhibition expedition in progress this will not show anything on it okay I'll do it again you have to have an expedition going for that to show anything and you can manage your fleet there if you have more than one expedition you need more than one of these so that's what they are it's quite simple quite straightforward um, I've got some I've got another one over here as you can see so so yeah so that is the freighter and what's inside the freighter we said about storage uh, on this freighter it's an A-class freighter I've got 33 slots as you can see so that's what I can store on this freighter um, in my technology slots I've only got the hyperdrive at the moment I've got nothing else um, it's got four slots on it it's only an A-class but it's not bad to get back down to the hangar bay you've got the bridge behind you all you need to do is find the stairs that are going down go through the two sets of double doors and you can go left or right we will go right this time brings you back down to the hangar bay here where you can obviously get in your ship or if you've got less than six ships and other ships do come in then you can um, talk to the owners of those ships and buy them if you wanted to so but like I said all these ships are mine so um, you know I will get in this one actually. no I won't I need this one because this has got a better hyperdrive on it just say that there we go so there you go so that's the inside of the freighter so hope that's of some use um, We'll do a video on repairing frigates and stuff like that and sending things out on expeditions, but that was just a brief overview of freighters, so hope that's of some use. Um, if you did like the video, please drop a like on it, consider subscribing to the channel and check my other videos out on the channel. So if you got this far, thank you for watching and I'll catch you again soon.